Hi everyone, welcome again to my English channel. Welcome to this course presented by Ahmed Sayar. Please like, share, follow, and subscribe. This course is intended again to second year back students, and we are going to stay in unit number two in humor. Now, today we are going to move to reading a very important text The Advantages of Laughter. Great! So, let's start then. The text is about. Now, this is the first question. The text you are going to see here is it about the mental benefits, the physical benefits, or the benefits of laughter? This is the text, please. Take your time, stop the video, read the text, and find the correct answer again. This is the question. The text is about the mental benefits, the physical benefits, or the benefits of laughter. Take your time, stop the video, and try to answer. All right, so let's see here the answer. Of course, now you have in the first paragraph, laughter has multiple benefits, mentally and physically. So it's not... So here, mentally and physically, yes, so this is the answer. The correct answer is C, the benefits of laughter. It's not mental, it's not only physical, it's benefits of laughter in general. Very good, let's move on. Again, look at this question. Laughter is good for adults, kids, or all? Take your time and answer this question, please. Stop the video. All right. So, look at the first paragraph again. So, we have people who incorporate humor and play into their daily lives incorporate and here you have with humor being good for you here he's talking to all that's the correct answer so laughter is good for all not only for adults not only for kids so this is the correct answer great now let's move on complete this chart with information from the text so this is the chart what are the physical benefits of laughter what are the mental benefits of laughter from the text? This is the text, please. Read the text, stop the video, read the text, and try to answer, please. So here you have, in paragraph number two, the physical benefits of uh, humor do not end here, and you have lot of ideas expressing that and here again you have uh, when something strikes you as funny la uh, laughing stimulates the brain both the left and the right so here the mental benefits so if you want to answer the answer is going to be like this the physical benefits of laughter it increases the e immune system it lowers blood pressure it exercises the entire body. Good. What about the mental benefits of laughter? So, it stimulates the brain. Good. It changes the mood instantly. Very good. Non-existence of depression and anxiety. So, in humor, there is no existence of uh, anxiety and depression. All right, let's move on. Answer these questions, please. How do you feel after you laugh a lot? Look at the text. How do you feel after you laugh a lot? So here, the answer is going to be in this paragraph number two. We get sore sides after a good laugh session. We get sore sides after you after a good laugh session. Sore sides means like when you play 
sport. We do sports in the morning and you go back to your house, then you feel very, very, very uh, tired. So it's like your all your body is in pain. All right, next question. Why does laughing stimulate the brain? Why does laughing stimulate the brain? So here the answer is going to be in paragraph number three. To help the laughter retain more information. To help the laughter or the laugher retain more information. Great. Next question. What do you need to do to add humor to your life? Yes. So the answer is going to be in paragraph number five. You can start by smiling at yourself in the mirror each morning and having a five minute laugh to get the day started. Very good. Next one. Are the humor clips beneficial? Explain. So here you need to find where the humor, the humor clips is mentioned in the text. Yes, it is mentioned in paragraph number four here. So, are they beneficial? Yes, because they are contagious. Because humor is contagious. So, a good group laugh is quite probable every time members of these clubs get together. Great. Next one. What do the underlined words in the text refer to? I'll go back to the text. These underlined words, what do they refer to? It, these people, this concept. All right, so it refers to laughing. Very good. These people? People who have a great sense of humor. Very good. This concept? Yes. Laughing as therapeutic exercise. Excellent job. Let's move on now. Find in the text words that mean the same as the following. Healing in paragraph 3. Infectious in paragraph number 4. Let's see paragraph number 3 and number 4. The synonyms of these words. Healing and infectious. Healing is going to be therapeutic exercise. Healing exercise. Good. Infectious. Yes, contagious, infectious. All right, let's move on now. Complete this sentence from the text. Laugh much more times a day than. Again, this is the text. The answer is going to be in paragraph number one. Yes. Children on average laugh about 300 times a day while the average adult laugh is just 17 times per day. So children, the answer is going to be children laugh much more times a day than adults. Excellent job. Let's move on. Complete this sentence from the text. People who have a sense of humor. So the answer is going to be in paragraph number three. People who have a great sense of humor and who are able to laugh at themselves, yes, see the world in a different light. They see the world in a different light. All right, next one. Are these sentences true or false? Justify. First sentence. Our immune system is positively affected by laughter. Look at the text. Our immune system is positively affected by laughter. Stop the video, please, and try to find if this sentence is true or false. Our immune system is positively affected by laughter. The answer is in paragraph number two. Yes. So, the answer is true. Laughter increases the immune system. 
Excellent job. Next one. Laughter affects the heart and the blood. Go back again to the text. Laughter affects the heart and the blood. And the answer is in paragraph number four. Can increase heart rate. So the sentence is true because laughter increases heart rate and blood immune system. All right. Next sentence. Laughing for nothing can be dangerous for the health. Laughing for nothing can be dangerous for health. Try to find which paragraph can you find this sentence. Laughing for nothing can be dangerous for the health. Yes. So the answer is in paragraph number four. You don't have to feel the laughter in order to, to for it to be beneficial. Just opening your mouth and laughing on purpose, force or not, can increase heart rate. Very good. So the sentence is, of course, false because just opening the mouth can increase the heart rate. So it's not dangerous. It increases the immune system. Very good. Find in the text words or phrases which show that. How to add humor in your life. Go back again to the text. How to add humor in your life. How to add humor in your life. And it's going to be in paragraph number five. Yes. By smiling at yourself in the mirror each morning and having a five minutes laugh. Good. Next one. Find in the text words or phrases which show that again, hospitals will adopt laughter as treatment. Hospitals will adopt laughter as a treatment. And the answer is in paragraph number three, recommend laughing as Therapeutic exercise. Excellent job. Let's move on. All right. Let's now move to Ticket to English Student Book, page number 26, in which you have reading. So, the magic of humor. All right. Discuss these quotations with your partners. So, we have three quotations here, and you have one proverb. So, please. That proverb is very important, so read it, read all the three, and do A and B. Take your time, please. Okay, let's correct now. Do these people appreciate humor or not? So let's see, do they appreciate humor or not? What do you think? Yes, they do. Yes. Now, B, do you agree or disagree with them? Why? So, you can say, I agree with them because humor is very important in our lives. You can say, I disagree with them because humor is not very important in our lives. All right, great. Let's move on now. Same page, 26, in which you have a text. Read and discover. Read the first and the last paragraphs of the text. Find out the writer's attitudes towards using humor at work and at school. First paragraph in which it's going to end in necessary and the last paragraph which starts with always and ends in tasks. So, take your time please, read the text. Now, what is the writer's attitude toward using humor at work? Yes, what's his opinion? Take your time. All right, so let's correct now. Yes, so it's in the first paragraph. Believing it's healthy, profitable, and sometimes necessary. That's the writer's attitude. All right, very good. Let's move on now. Now we move to page 27, in which you have uh, exercises, comprehension exercises about the text. But before that, you need to read the text, please, okay? Explain all the vocabulary which are difficult for you, okay? So let's move on now. Number two, tick the ideas mentioned in the text. Justify your answers. 
Yes. Take your time, please. All right. So let's correct, please. So some people believe that humor should be excluded from work and school. It is mentioned in the text. Yes. People are more productive if they have fun while working or studying. It is mentioned in the text. Yes. Humor and hard work cannot coexist. Now, this idea is not mentioned in the text. Humor is sometimes better than medicine. While well, this idea is mentioned in the text, yes. Too much seriousness may affect your health. It is in the last paragraph, yes, it's mentioned. And the last one, too much humor may hinder people's work or school achievement. Good, it is mentioned in the text. All right, let's move on now. Next exercise, number three. Answer these questions according to the text. Take your time, stop the video, please and answer these questions. What emotional gain do people get if they use humor at work? Take your time, please stop the video. All right, let's correct now. First question, they are less stressed. Less stressed, do better, a better job and are filled with satisfaction. Great, can you guess from the context what the word workaholic means? Workaholic means addiction to work or fun loving towards work. Very good. What are the disadvantages of over seriousness? Over seriousness make it difficult to cope with daily tasks. It is in the text. Everything is in the text. All right, let's move on now. What do these words or the words underlined that the text refer to? You have there in paragraph number two and they in paragraph number two. Again, take your time, stop the video and do the exercise, please. All right, let's correct now. There refers to work and school. They refers to people who are fun loving. Excellent. Let's move on now. Without going back to the text, complete the following table in your own words. So here we are going to use our own words. What are the benefits of humor? Everything is in the text. Take your time, please. All right, let's correct now. So as I said, everything in the text, humor reduces stress and boosts morale. It facilitates change. It improves communications. It relieves boredom. It builds confidence. Great. Let's move on now. So, this exercise is very important because it helps you write. Okay? So, we are going to take advantage of this and try to write some paragraphs about either expressing your opinion, either you approve or disapprove of using humor at school. Provide arguments to support your point of view and share them with your partners, please. Take your exercise copy book and try to write, okay? Do you approve or disapprove of humor, of using humor at school? Give your opinion, please. Take time, please. Try to write a paragraph, either agreeing or disagreeing. All right, so let me help you here with uh, an outline. So you can say, for example, if you agree, disagree, you are going to say, I personally disapprove of using humor at school for many reasons first and you finish the paragraph also look at the linking words okay very important in addition etc besides or you can use for example as far as i'm concerned i agree with using humor at school for many reasons first also in addition besides not only can humor but it can as well and finally so please just write the two paragraphs in your exercise copy book and provide uh, with arguments to support your point of view, either agreeing or disagreeing. All right. Thank you for watching. End of reading unit number two, humor. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you later before you leave. Don't forget to like, share, follow, and subscribe.
See you next time in next video. Thank you very much.